So how do you find the derivative of a function? So let's consider this simple function we have here, f of x equals 0.2x squared. So if I zoom out, you can see that's the function f of x equals 0.2x squared in red. And I've picked two points on that function, point A and point B. And I've dropped down the perpendicular of point A to the x-axis, and that's given that value x. And the y value of that point A is f of x. I've then added on a certain distance, h, to get a point x plus h. So the x coordinate of b is x plus h, and the y coordinate of b is f of x plus h. So I've worked out the gradient of that chord there. So the chord is in orange. So the gradient of chord is equal to 2. Okay, so what I can do then is I've also taken a note of the actual gradient of that point A. So the actual point gradient of that point A is equal to 0.8. Now if I make this length here h smaller and smaller, that is if I bring this point here down along the curve, then the gradient of this chord here tends towards the gradient at point A. So you'll see that happen. And here as I bring that down, you'll see that the gradient of that chord starts getting smaller and smaller. It's now 1.72 and it'll get smaller and smaller, 1.44. And as, it, as the value H there tends towards zero, we will actually get it tending towards the actual value of the chord, so it's at 0.92 now. So the actual gradient at A is 0.8. So there you go, pumps on it, and it's actually equal to it's 0.8. So what we're doing is we're doing something called taking a limit. So we're finding the gradient of this chord here, but we're finding the gradient as this value H tends towards zero. Okay, so let's have a wee look, and we'll write this out so as it makes a wee bit maybe a wee bit more sense to us so let's head into our smooth draw and we can pop this out where is it there it is okay so i've already actually drawn this out so what we had was a function here f of x and we had a point x and a point x plus h and the distance between our x there and x plus h is obviously that distance there h and the point b so that's a point b and that's a point a the point b is given by x plus h f of x plus h so it means that the the gradient of that chord there is going to be well just a normal gradient y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so y2 is f of x plus h y1 is f of x, and x2 is, well that's x plus h, and x1 is x. So, we can cancel out these two x's, and we're left with f of x plus h minus f of x all up in h. So that there gives you the gradient of this chord. And then what we do is we say, well let this value h get smaller and smaller, so that's this little added section here, the limit as h tends to 0 of this here gives you the derivative of the function f derivative of x. Okay, so that there is the little equation that we've been trying to uh, derive and uh, we've got it eventually after the past two videos. So if we had say for example f of x equals x squared then we could find the derivative of that function we could get the derivative of that function by taking the limit of f of x plus h. Now instead of x plus h, it's x plus h squared minus f of x squared all up in h. Now we're not going to go through all the mathematics for that, but you can end up with 2x. Now we have a little general form here, and the first one we're going to have a, a look at in uh, calculus. If we had a function f of x equals ax to the n, say for example, f of x equals uh, 3x squared, then we can find the derivative of that function by multiplying by the exponent and then taking one away from the exponent. So in this case here, we would multiply by the exponent, so it would be 2 times 3 times x, and then take one away from the exponent, well 2 minus 1 
is equal to 1. So the final answer for that would be 6x. So when we differentiate 3x squared, we get 6x. So that's all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was of value. If so, then please subscribe or leave some comments. Okay, bye-bye.